Bruner, I'm so sorry. My most sincere apologies. Oh, you will be. <laughs> Just to make matters worse, I actually shifted my leg and the heart nearly fell off my knee. <laughs> Such is the precarious nature, ladies and gentlemen, of playing an instrument like this. At least it wasn't a wedgie this time. <laughs> no, no, I've had a wedgie this entire set. <laughs> He's actually so just wearing a thong. <laughs> <laughs> and a multitude of itches in many different places. Every musician will tell you guys, the moment you start playing, you get an itch up your ass. Speak right. for yourself. I'm just gonna, just gonna reposition myself. <laughs> now then, a show of hands, please. Who has someone they have loved and lost? Yes, I thought so. In the, in the North Germanic tradition, a thousand years ago and more, people would, uh, would carve rune stones. Often they were simple, sometimes they were complex, but in any case they would tell um, the story of someone who had, who had died and who was worthy of commemoration. I actually think we do funerals all wrong now. Anyway, this song is about remembering those we've loved and lost and keeping them in here where they deserve to be, and that's how we live forever. This song is called Stone Carved Runes. Cattle die and kinsmen die. We are, all of us, going to die. But there is one thing that never dies. That is the glory of the dead. Kinsmen 